So this is the modest tree of Sebastian Sandev. <laughs> it is a collected um, oriental hornbeam, Carpinus orientalis, from the south of Croatia. It was a much, much bigger tree, as you can tell. And now it's a huge stump with some promise. First of all, you must have many friends in order to keep a tree like that because only four people can carry this tree. And that's too big. Hey, come on, Sebastian. But you found it like that, okay? And you wanted a big tree, okay. Uh, it was just beautiful. It was just beautiful. No, it's ugly at the moment. It's, it's, a, it's a very ugly stump. However, it has a lot of promise. So this is in the very beginning and, and it looks strange because the, the branches are so short. Now we, uh, after, let's say the next five to ten years, we want a crown like this. This is the crown. And then it will not be as ugly anymore because at the moment it's ugly because the stump is way too big versus the crown in relation to the crown. So you make the crown much bigger and then the stump does not look as, as thick and oversized anymore. So this is a, an extremely wild tree. It, obviously, it's a fairy tale bonsai. It does not want to impress you with beauty. It wants to impress you with wildness, with soul, with character, with size. It sheer, it sheer throws you off the socks if you have never seen it before. How can somebody collect this kind of tree. I mean, how many people does it take to pull this tree out and, and get it into a car? Uh, this is a monster, monster thing, which only Sebastian Sandev could do. I have big trees. I thought so far. No, I, my trees are tiny compared to this. So here you see a lot of dead wood, which is decaying. And that's fine. That's okay. It will decay and it will be hollow. Many people of belief that it's not good because the tree will die if it's decaying. They are misunderstanding uh, that a tree does not grow like a human being. So if you open my belly, okay, with some tool, it may be just but not healthy. So if you let me rot, I will die because that's how humans are. Now, if you do the same to a tree, he will not die because he's already dead inside anyway. So you can actually hollow him out and, and he will not die. So, so this can rot as, as long as it wants. You can admire it for the next 20 years and then it's gone and then there's a hollow, the tree is not dead. So that's a big misunderstanding which is spread all over the world. People think, oh, my tree is rotting. I have to do something. I have to protect him. It will die. No, it will not. Okay, so so just believe me, uh, we have uh, linden trees, Tilia, in Germany, which are a thousand years old, and they were hollow since 900 years. So a hollow tree does not die because it's hollow. Okay, so the rest, uh, where is, is that? That may well be the front that you're looking because that's the way it fit into a pot. However, this is so big that it was extremely difficult to find a pot. Maybe that's even a better front. However, that's not uh, how, how the pot is made. Or I, I this, this view. This view. This is so your the, the Nabari is widest from here. You know? So f that's because that's what we want—a wide Nabari. This is the, uh, main trunk, uh -huh. the tallest one, very wide, and just a bit more green here around this dead part. So, so what, we, what we don't want is a, is a, a round crown here. We want uh, several uh, clouds, a cloud here, a cloud there, there, there a big cloud, and then another cloud. Uh, and, uh, so that it does not look too even because that's a very sort of strange tree and should not have a very regular crown. Okay. Now this is a problem insofar as to, to ever move this tree, ever exhibit it, or find the space in the exhibit hall which is big enough for that tree. <sighs> 
But this is only here in Europe. Uh, we, for us, it's clearly way too big. You know that, Sebastian. However, in in some other countries, like in 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 in, in Taiwan and in 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 Vietnam and in Indonesia, they have bigger trees than that. In China, they have t trees which are two times as big as this one. So that's fine. So you don't like it, or I like it, but you. If you gave that to me, I wouldn't take it. It's just, it's just too heavy. I'm giving it to you. Thank you very much. No. Really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, but but I can see that you are excited about it. Uh, I mean, and, uh, uh, certainly uh, to, for for the understanding, because we have a, an audience around the world, and there's about uh, thirty to fifty thousand people in the end watching this, and most of them will not see what we see because they see an ugly, ugly, big, fat stump, and and then they think, what are, are these guys talking about? Well, we see the future of this tree, and the future is actually with a crown, and that it will look very dramatic and like a real old tree. At the moment, it's just work in progress, and it's the beginning of the work. So it's if you... serious styling, serious, uh, okay, doing some directions and, let's say, highest point, yeah. first, sub-trunk, and that. So that's just, the, it's not even the start. Well, it's just a start. So, so if you don't like this, maybe you look at the other videos where we show more advanced, more mature horn beams where we have worked on for about eight to ten years already and they look a lot better. So there's hope, Sebastian, there's hope. Don't give up. So thank you very much. This was a great adventure for me to do all these videos in this garden and I learned a lot about fairies even. <laughs> if you do the fairy tile bonsai style, you better understand what a fairy is all about. And Sebast Sebastian told me today. Was a